Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Exciting video today. I don't know how I'm exactly doing this wedding series because I'm not doing dedicated per se videos throughout, but this is part of the wedding planning process. So I think I'm still just going to mention things here and there and maybe have some dedicated videos throughout this journey of wedding planning. So I guess we're continuing on with the wedding series because this will be included in my playlist on my YouTube channel. But we got our save the dates back from Minted and I'm so excited because today I'm actually putting them all in the envelopes and stamping them and sending them out. And I'm just so excited to check this off the list and get it done. So they actually came in really quick. We ordered them on Sunday and they came in on Friday, which was yesterday. So very, very quick. We didn't select where you would receive a proof. We just had it as expedited and it saved us $5. By the way, there's always coupons on Minted, which is great because on our save the dates, it actually saved us $50 on them. And that way we could kind of spread our money out and get little features on the envelopes. So I'm gonna share what our save the dates look like. I think I'm gonna cover the date and the place and then obviously addresses on the envelopes because i think this was a great touch that we added for our envelopes which was an extra little bit of money but since we were saving money in the long run with a coupon code and going with maybe a different type of paper we kind of pick and chose what we wanted to spend our money on and cut back in other areas so i will share what our save the dates are what photo we chose and then the envelopes and i'm so excited to get these out for all of our guests and yeah, so I'm really excited. That's what I'm doing today. I'm wearing something really comfy for that. Um, I'll share my outfit in the mirror if you're interested. But we also went with, I'll just flip the camera around. I just pulled out my sister's card as an example and covered the addresses for obvious reasons. But this is the front of the card and this is the back of the card right above the seal. And I think it turned out really good. We added the return address to the back. It did cost a little bit extra money to do that, but this way it creates kind of like a seamless looking envelope instead of having part of the addresses printed on the envelope and then the return address written in. Just wanted it to look really nice. So this was a nice feature that we added. Okay, I did wanna share that we did do a different font for the addresses on the front and back of the envelopes. We didn't want to do script throughout, so this one was really nice because it gave us this style and then the script on top for the names. Here are the save the dates. I am covering up the date and the place that we're getting married at because I want to keep it a secret for now. But this is the photo that we ended up going with. I thought the champagne popping was such a fun photo. And then I loved the save the date with the cursive the. And yeah, it just has our name, the date, the place, and then it has invite to follow below. So I thought they turned out really, really cute. I love them and I can't wait to give these to all of our guests. So I'm going to be packaging up these, stamping and sending them off today. I'm so excited. Had to go with a comfy fit for this. I'm wearing this top from Aritzia. These boxer shorts are from J. Crew. I think they run a little bit big in my opinion. And then slippers are Ugg. Just finished doing all the invitations. Pretty big stack over here. This is how they turned out. And I'm gonna go take them to the mailbox right now and send them out. I always feel like this tripod is crooked. Whatever, I just dropped off all of our save the dates to be mailed out. 
and I went and picked up a Target pickup order. I needed a new Swiffer Wet Jet. I really like a Swiffer Wet Jet. The one that I had broke kind of and it only would spray the liquid out of one side. So I picked up a new one of those. If you have been a long time subscriber, you know that I used to take this every single day and I think it was one of the main reasons why my hair grew so long. I used to have the shortest hair in college. It would never grow past here. A really fine hair and I took this religiously for probably like three years maybe even four and I think that's the only reason why my hair grows like a weed now I don't understand this saved me and with the wedding coming up I feel like skincare starts from within I am such a firm believer in collagen I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on the internet about it I truly think that this makes a difference. So I am back on the collagen peptides from Vital Proteins. I was taking the one from 1UP Nutrition. I just don't like how it has biotin in it. It just never really works with my skin, biotin. So this one, collagen peptide, does not have biotin in it. So that's why I am back to this and I just add it to my coffee every morning. So we're gonna go back to this. We're gonna stop the protein powder and just go to this. And this has 18 grams of protein. So really good protein and 20 grams of collagen peptides as well as tons of amino acids. So I'm excited to be incorporating this into my routine again and see the skin hair, nails. My nails already grow really fast. Speaking of nails, I'm going to be taking these off tomorrow and not doing nails anymore. I have really loved having my nails done, but with the wedding coming up and things that we're paying for and certain things like the bachelorette trip, which we just booked, I just booked the Airbnb and I'm so excited. I'll share more of where we're going and when as it approaches, but we did just book the Airbnb for my bachelorette trip and I'm so excited. And it's to a place that I've never been to, so I'm very, very pumped. But there's just a lot of wedding things coming up, a lot of payments, a lot of things that we're purchasing and I feel like nails just is not a priority. It's so expensive and it's time to let them go until probably next year as we get closer to the wedding and I start doing like trial wedding nails, but I'm ready to kind of let these go and it's been fun, but there's just other priorities and it's an easy way to save extra money because it's not a necessity. So we're gonna get these off tomorrow. They are very grown out. It's been probably three weeks now, but yeah, got this and then I got some teas for just like skin, peppermint tea, spearmint tea, so, and digestion, just overall inflammation. And I'm about to make a water with some electrolytes. This brand called Buoy reached out to me and sent over some of their hydration drops. I'm a firm believer in trace minerals, electrolytes. If I'm like intensely working out, doing cardio, walking at an incline, it depletes all of my electrolytes and minerals in my body. And I get tension headaches or dehydration headaches behind my eyes. It's mainly behind this eye. These help so, so, so much. I will never not have electrolytes in my routine. These are just trace mineral drops. They're unflavored. So you can add it to anything like coffee. Coffee is so dehydrating too. And I feel like if you can kind of add something to counteract that, that's a great hack. So you can add it to as much as you want, like alcoholic beverages. So if you go out and you want to add it to your <laughs> alcoholic beverage and have some electrolytes to help with not getting hungover or anything like that, that is so cool. It's three times more bioavailable form, wild harvested ocean electrolytes and 87 plus minerals, no sugar, sweeteners or flavors, non-GMO, vegan, third party tested and dietitian recommended. I'm gonna just add one whole lime. I put our save the date on the fridge, by the way. And you just take it and go like this. And that's it. Just really easy. Let me mix this. And I think they also offer flavored ones if that interests you. I know I love drinking flavored water throughout the day. That's why I add lime or lemon to it because it just helps me drink more water. But I know that they have some flavored options. So if that interests you and you wanna make your water more flavored, help you drink more water, that's an option too. 
it's later. I just decided to do my grocery shopping today instead of tomorrow. So I went to Publix and Sprouts because Publix doesn't have two of the items that I picked up from Sprouts. This is what I got from Sprouts that I'm excited to try. I'm gonna try it right now. It's like a little snack that I saw on TikTok. So first I got these Culture Pop sodas in four different flavors that I'm excited to try. I've seen Emma and Maggie McDonald talk about these all the time and I love Poppy and I love prebiotic, probiotic sodas sodas so I thought this would be fun to try. They only sell them at Sprouts and Whole Foods near me, not at Publix. So I got the watermelon and lime, black cherry, orange mango and lime, and then wild berries and lime. So I'm excited to try those. Another main reason why I went to Sprouts was to pick up this Siete habanero sauce and I'm gonna try it with the Grillo's pickles. And then you put, so basically you take a pickle, cottage cheese, and you put that on top. And this girl, Riley, shared it on TikTok. And I'm interested because I love pickles and I love cottage cheese, but I never thought of mixing this combo together. And I've never tried this before, so I'm interested. This might be a little bit better to eat with the chips, the pickle chips, because it'd be easier to eat maybe. Okay, that much, and then I wonder if I should try this first. Hmm. Let's just go all out. I don't know how much to do. Okay, I hope I like this. Cheers. This is interesting. This is really spicy. I feel like you don't need a lot. Let me just try this again. I feel like I'm just overwhelmed with spice. Let's try with just like a little drop or two. Try this again. It's good. I feel like all I taste is really the pickles with some heat. It's a good little snack with some protein because of this. This is really good. I might actually start putting this on my tacos and taco salads. It's really yummy. Just has some heat. So this is a really good snack. I think I'm gonna make some more. Okay, I decided to go to the gym. So this is what I'm wearing. I have my wrist weights on from Bala Bangles. I'm wearing this set from Set Active. It's their sport body collection. This is the box cut bra and then the leggings. And this tank top is just a Hanes little boy tank off of Amazon. I love working out in these. I think it's kind of cute that you can see your sports bra too. I put my hair in a clip. Hopefully it stays and doesn't get too sweaty, but yeah, this is the fit for the treadmill. I'm gonna walk probably three miles. Then I'm gonna come back up and do some mat Pilates. Just made some dinner. I did a steak salad for dinner. We get some thinly sliced sirloin from Costco and we love putting it over a salad. So I did that, just lettuce, peppers, cucumber, tomato, red onion, avocado, a little bit of cheese and some steak. And then I did, I did the rest of this Italian dressing on top. And then I also love putting the Green Goddess seasoning blend all over salads. It's so good on veggies. This is what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna sit on the couch. Oh, and this black cherry culture pop was calling my name. So I just poured a tall glass of crushed ice and I'm gonna try it.
Good morning. I'm gonna make my warm lemon water. I'm really excited to start adding this back in. Probiotic, I need to order more of this. Probiotic from 1UP Nutrition. I still always have a code with 1UP Nutrition. It's where I get a lot of my supplements from. I've been taking 1UP Nutrition supplements since 2021. So I got a multivitamin by Ritual, a digestive enzyme. My trusty ashwagandha. I'm actually gonna order this probiotic from 1UP Nutrition right now so I don't forget. So I'm looking into magnesium supplements for sleep because my ring, my ultra human ring that I wear every night has been telling me that I'm not getting enough REM sleep and you can supplement with magnesium for that. So I'm gonna try, I just don't know what flavor to get. Cherry mint mojito. Like what do I want at nighttime? Perfect. Okay, now that's ordered. We're gonna take our supplements. Half crushed, half regular. And this is usually how I would make my protein coffee. I always would use the shaker bottle. And this is my favorite protein powder, if you're interested. I've been taking this for years now. It's the Salted Caramel um, Sydney Adams Collab. It's so good in coffee. I've been switching on and off between collagen and protein powder, but I've always done something in my coffee for as long as I can remember. I've always added collagen and then I went to protein powder and then a couple months ago I switched back to collagen and then back to protein powder. I'm just always kind of switching things up. That's crazy. I don't think they do scoopers anymore. Or mine didn't get one. Wonder if this is about four tablespoons. Let's try it. Okay, I'm just pulling from my collagen peptides with 1UP Nutrition. And the reason why I don't take this is because it has biotin in it and then my skin just never got past the biotin, unfortunately. Okay, it's a little bit more than four tablespoons, but I'm just gonna use this scooper because I don't think they include scoopers anymore. It's a bummer. I just had my first sip, or first few sips, and you know when your coffee just tastes extra good? That is this today. I'm about to make breakfast, but I'm still deciding on kind of what I want. Do I want the same thing as yesterday? Do I want a hard boiled egg? I don't know yet, but this is like <laughs> such a mentally tough thing to do, dunking your face in a bucket of ice water. I noticed such a difference in my skin and just my overall calmness. What I do is I dunk my face six to 10 times. I kind of lean more towards 10 times and then I hold my breath for 10 seconds each time. A little bit of makeup and I don't even know why I did because I already want to take it off and let my skin breathe and just not have it on my face but I'll probably do that when I get home from getting my nails taken off I'm dreading going to do that I just don't want to today is such an exciting day and I can't believe how quickly a year can fly by it's crazy but exactly a year ago today Christian and I and a lot of our close friends were in Rosemary Beach and we got engaged a year ago today. I just still to this day, it was the best weekend ever. I have never been so, I was in like a happy bubble the whole entire weekend. Just, I don't think I've ever been so quiet. I'm usually a very talkative person, especially when I'm around people that I'm just 
familiar with, like my close friends. I've never been so quiet in my life and I just was taking everything in and it was a blur but at the same time i remember everything it was just the best weekend ever and i'm gonna re-watch our rosemary beach vlog where we got engaged i'll link it down below if you're new or if you haven't seen it it's probably one of my favorite videos i mean for obvious reasons but it was just such a memorable trip and Christian surprised me with bringing up my family and my sister is like sending me snapchat memories of her in rosemary beach before we got engaged i don't know it was just so exciting so i'm about to sit here and probably watch that vlog because it just is such a happy vlog and it makes me smile each time i watch it i've watched it a couple of times since then and it makes me so happy that i vlog and document a lot of these great moments in my life and being able to watch them back makes it so fun so i'm gonna do that and yeah i just can't believe it and we get married in seven months in a couple of days so that's crazy i feel like once i hit six months i'm gonna start maybe panicking a little bit i'm gonna be like sometimes i get really nervous about it and excited that we're getting married but i also don't want it to come because i don't want it to be over this season of life is by far my favorite so far and i just can't believe how quickly a year goes I can't believe a year ago we were getting engaged and then at the end of this month we were heading to Italy. I can't believe Italy was a year ago. Feels like it was only a couple months ago, but it's already the middle of August. It's about to be fall and then the holidays and then wedding stuff like bachelorette, bridal shower, then wedding and then honeymoon. And I just, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so excited. I've already gotten emotional multiple times today because I'm just like, so grateful and excited that i'm living this life and doing these things and experiencing these things so anyways just wanted to share it's been a year i can't believe it has been a year the best year ever and the best is yet to come and i'm just so excited anyways i'm gonna finish editing this i'm probably gonna head out the door soon and go get these nails taken off i'm so glad that i did grocery shopping yesterday because now i don't have to grocery shop i just come back meal prep and we're good to go but um i'm gonna try and get a workout in later today if not it's totally fine but yeah i want to get this video up probably tomorrow so i'm gonna try and get everything situated today and finish up some laundry all the things but i'm kind of excited to have these nails taken off and be back to like nubs and not have to worry about getting my nails done or them being grown out at all so 